Hey friends, welcome to my channel. Let's get crafting. Today we're going to be using these supplies from the Dollar Tree and the painter sticks came from my home improvement store. The yarn came from Walmart. So we are going to take these painter sticks and we are going to measure them out so that the right length looks like the brim of a hat. And we're going to do two of those and we're going to hold on to the end of those painter sticks. Don't get rid of those. And then we're going to go back over to this 4th of July sign that I absolutely loved. And normally I would just keep it as is. I actually bought another one just to keep as is, but I knew this little stripe would be so perfect because friends, I picked up a few of those. I had a dream last night about this DIY and I knew that I had to get it into this video. I didn't even want to wait another day. So I grabbed all of these pieces that I needed and you're going to see me here. I'm going to score this circle and I'm going to snap it just like that. I scored it three times with my craft knife and then I was able to snap it. And then on this part, I'm going to want to have a little bit of that blue popping out. I don't want to lose all of the blue. So go ahead and have a little bit of the blue and then I'm going to cut down the sides of that round where we snapped off that side of the circle and that way so it's nice and clean and then I'm just going to smush that right up on there. Now leave a comment down below to let me know if you all dream about crafts like I do. I have ideas come to me in the weirdest moments. Sometimes when I'm sleeping, sometimes when I'm in the shower. I know TMI, but it's really true. Sometimes when I'm crafting on another project. And then, you know, sometimes I get my inspiration too from Pinterest, like I think we all do. And sometimes I just want to show how to make the project. And I think it's so cute. I want it in my own home. So I figure I'll just show it in a video. But this Uncle Sam hanger is just it was it was all in my head last night when I was dreaming and I woke up and wanted to get right to it. So here I am, I've painted his face and I'm painting the brim of his hat a white, nice crisp white. And once I've done that, I actually went over with two coats of paint on both of them just to make sure that the color was nice and sharp versus having issues where you could see it coming through that previous backside of the sign that would. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm taking some yarn and I'm wrapping it around any object that you can find that will work with the length that you want. And we are gonna be creating his goatee. So again, this was in my dream, all of these steps. I was cracking up so much when I woke up that all of these were in my head and I flew through this project so quick because I knew exactly what to do versus, you know, kind of creating and struggling as I'm going. So we're going to make five of those where we tie it only at the top and leave the bottom loose. And now we're going to create two smaller ones. So I'm just taking my X-Acto knife craft box and I'm using that to wrap around, but you could also maybe use a book or just things, something small to wrap the yarn around. And then I'm going to do, like I said, the same thing to the two smaller ones, but on the end of these two smaller ones, this is the upper part of Uncle Sam's goatee where the little mustache part kind of curls out. I figured out that if I were to take yarn and wrap it around less than halfway, so I guess it's more than a fourth. I'm, listen, I'm the worst when it comes to fractions. I never, never got a good grade on those tests when I was in school. But I'm basically just going to be wrapping it around towards the end and then coming back and tying a knot. And this is going to allow it to be able to be curled up like a mustache or like I said, a goatee because it's really pliable since it's yarn. And when you glue it down, it looks just like a curled up goatee or a mustache. I was so excited when I realized that this was the possibility with yarn. So now we're going to take a second and just give a shout out for our DIY feature channel for today for the summer DIY daily. This is Christy from Christy Creates. Christy started her channel five years ago, had a couple of videos go viral and then took a break and then she started crafting again and I found her over this last couple of weeks where she is just so sweet. She is so sweet and she's had another video that just went viral on her but friends, she's still a small channel and there's a reason why her videos keep getting popular when she posts a new video. 
go check her out. She's my featured channel today. She just deserves a little shout out. Let her know that I sent you and give her some love to see what she's making for her 4th of July projects today. Our next step, we are going to take some pink paint and we are going to dry brush on some rosy cheeks because I just thought that that would be cute and sweet. And I'm just taking my time, just kind of, like I said, dry brushing it on. I'm going to do them on both of his cheeks. And now we're going to add on the bottom part of his goatee. Now, when I was first doing this, I was getting a little nervous because he was looking a little Santa Claus and I wasn't going for Santa. I was going for God bless America and Uncle Sam, <laughs> Uncle Sam wants you. And so as I was working on this, it's kind of thinking, how am I going to, because this part was not in my dream on how to shape his goatee. <laughs> so here I am at the bottom. I'm cutting the bottom loops free and then I am gluing it down to his face where that top part is where I tied it up at the top to hold it all in place. And you're going to see in just a minute, it finally came to me while I was working on this one and getting through it where I finally figured out how to create the goatee shape. So here I am where I am just gluing it all down into place to make sure it's nice and secure. And then I'm going to come in here and add on the upper part of the goatee, the mustache. And I'm just going to, you know, make sure those are nice and curled on the tips like they should be. And then I'm going to take a break on that beard for a second because I was still thinking about it. I didn't want to make a commitment. I wanted to think about it before I started cutting stuff away. I'm taking two small pieces of foam and I'm just going to add them up to the upper part of his hat. And I'm going to use that to be able to add in some boxwood greenery. I thought that this would be really cute since it's going to be going on my front door for this 4th of July. I wanted to make sure that I had a little bit of greenery on there because I just, I don't know, I, I like that on my front door. So here I am, I'm just adding a little bit and then remember those stars from earlier. We're going to go ahead and add those back on to the brim of his hat. We're going to put the three stars and just glue those right on. The inside of the star had this little support piece so that it would allow the stars to go on to the sign earlier so I just reuse those repurpose them and then now we're going to add in a little bit more boxwood I really wanted to fill in this foam piece so you didn't see the foam and then I'm going to take some stars that you're going to see how I make these a little bit later in this video I use these for the second project as well and I show how I make them but we're going to take some of these stars on shish kebab sticks and we're going to just go ahead and stick those right into that foam as well Okay, at this point I was ready to commit to the goatee and I decided I needed to shape it. It needed a haircut. So I started cutting up on the sides to create almost a V shape. And at this point it really started to look just like a goatee. So that is the trick with this one. If you try it, make sure you give it a nice haircut, which is just the funniest thing to say in this video, but give it a little haircut so it looks like that goatee. And just wait, we're getting close to the end here with this project. He's, he's really starting to come together. For his eyebrows, I created some jelly bean shaped pieces of canvas left over from a previous project. I love reusing the canvas pieces whenever I cut apart those canvas frames. And I popped them up with some foam core. Now remember those two earlier painter sticks? We're gonna staple them together, add a little bit of that hot glue, and then staple it to the back. I also forgot to mention on the back side, you can see over there to the right, I ended up stapling things all together just to make sure it was nice and snug. And then to finish the look, I added a bow and added a string on the back to hang him up. And then I also made sure I added some hot glue right on that painter stick to camouflage just in case the wind blows so you don't see that when he's hanging up on my front door.
Now friends, if you don't know, tomorrow is the DIY challenge. I have had many people asking about the playlist. I know that it is super tricky sometimes to add to the playlist. So once the playlist goes live, if you're having a hard time, send me an email. It's the best way to get to me, but I will be making sure I'm looking around for people that have their videos to help you add to the playlist. But it's coming up tomorrow, so that means our next DIY friend for this week since I'm doing the DIY challenge on Friday, I'm gonna have somebody also on Saturday this week. So make sure you come back on Saturday to see our person on Saturday that I will be featuring that's a smaller channel for the DIY Daily. Our next project is one that is also for the front door and I was so excited. This inspiration came from Pinterest. I didn't dream about this one, <laughs> but it's something that I have been dreaming about making for quite some time because I saw this on Pinterest and thought this is so cute. So here I am, I'm just taking these four different buckets or pots that you can get from the Dollar Tree and a broomstick rod as well as these stars. Now remember these are the stars I showed earlier on my Uncle Sam. I'm just taking the shish kebab sticks and poking them up into the star and then I'm going to add some hot glue just to make sure everything is nice and secure on them. And then I wanted to get some gold stars. I also showed this yesterday on a DIY for my DIY daily. I spray painted them lightly gold first, added Elmer's glue, and then added some glitter to get some gold stars in there. I thought that would be really pretty. If you haven't already yet and you are enjoying this video, click that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. I have so many more fun things coming all throughout June and into July. And next week I will be moving on to summer coastal themed videos. I cannot wait to show you all the channels I'll be partnering with and all of my DIYs that I have in store for you. Now here I am, I'm taking some painter's tape, I sketched out some stars, I cut them out with my craft knife and now I'm just going to stick them onto my bucket because I spray painted my buckets and you're going to see them in just a second. I spray painted them two red, one white, and then the big one, the blue one, I spray painted it white first, added those stars, and then spray painted it blue, and then pulled the stars off. And then you can see here that I added in a couple of little dots on the bucket or pot. I keep wanting to say bucket. And now what I need to do is I need to drill a bigger hole that will fit the rod from the broom up into it because we are gonna create the cutest garden porch pot decor. We're gonna be taking this broom and we wanna have the handle go into the top bucket. We're gonna thread on the small red, the small white, and then the medium red, and then the dark blue. Now you're gonna notice as I was threading these on, you want the hole that you drill to be close to the edge because we want them to look like they're tipping over and the flowers are just all trellising out over the side, it's so cute. Now with the rest of the pole, we don't wanna break it off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just bend it around to create almost like a square. You're gonna see me here. I'm gonna do three bends until I get all the way around. And this is going to allow it to stay nice and snug and secure inside the bottom one, which is the blue one. And so see here, I'm coming around and now this is gonna work in here perfectly. Now when I headed outside to go put the flowers in, you better believe my little Miriam, my little lady bear, she was right behind me ready to come out and garden with me. So you're gonna see her little feet and her little hands helping me put in flowers in just a second. She was super into the stars on the stick. That was one I think she was really wanting to help me with the most, not even necessarily getting her hands dirty. She just wanted to do the stars. So here I am, I'm adding dirt in all the buckets first to make sure that it's nice and stable and secure so that I can add in the flowers without trying to hold it up and struggle with it. And you can see that I tipped my buckets back and forth, back and forth. So that way it has that nice tipped look. And I'm adding in all of my flowers that I picked up from my local garden center. And then, oh, here's Miriam. She just snuck her way in and she's handing me the flowers and she's so funny. She was having a lot of fun helping me with this one and kept saying, can we put the stars in now? And you can see her over there to the side. She's touching them and taking them all off and they're all in her little hands and she just wants to so badly stick those stars in. <laughs> anyway, we added in our stars 
and we just made sure we filled in as many flowers as we could so that it can just grow and bloom right at my front door and look so beautiful all throughout this summer just celebrating our Independence Day and how grateful we are to be in God's country I am so grateful to live in America it really has been a blessing Thanks so much for stopping by today to watch this video. Remember, don't forget to go and check out Christy. Here is the look all together that was on the cover of this video. I just love how it turned out. I hope you will give these a try. Also, don't forget to check out the video on Monday and Tuesday with more DIYs with the red, white, and blue theme. Leave a comment down below to let me know which was your favorite from today and if you'll try any of them. And until the next episode, bye friends.